So yeah, sup y'all, let's try this again. I'm still trying to shoot this part two of that part one video. And um, I'm still trying to shoot this part two of that part one video that got cut off. So let's try this again. I believe I was up to the part where I was mentioning um, pine pollen. Pine pollen which um, I don't have any on me right now to show you, but it's almost like testosterone in a bag. I forgot about pine pollen. So yeah, the first thing to improve yourself as a man would be to do something to work on your testosterone. And that would be like the things I mentioned in the part one video. Um, do something when you don't feel like doing it, um, things like that, okay? Then also, another tip to improve yourself as a man would be um, learning how to read people. I mentioned this in previous videos. Um, you want to know a little bit about psychology, the basics at least. You want to know how to read a narcissist from a psychopath from a Machiavellian person. You know, psychopaths, they have no remorse for you. They don't care. A lot of prisoners are probably psychopaths. Um, you know, someone who doesn't care about the consequences. Narcissists, you know, they get hurt easily, they get offended easily, they get butt hurt easily. So you want people that are lower on any of those scales. Then you have Machiavellianism, which is someone who does stuff behind your back. They're kind of a half-truth kind of person, sneaky, won't tell you the full truth, will do, investigate, do things behind your back. And then there's the wild card of anxiety, which is very prevalent in the world. Now, um, a lot of people um, have some form of anxiety. So, you want to learn how to read people. So that way you don't allow them into your social circle or you minimize the time with them. You don't have a relationship with somebody who's high on any of those facets. There's also sub facets as well. Um, so you want to do that. Okay. And then um, the third thing you want to do as a guy is don't let women drive you crazy. Learn to understand women. And, you know, women are not crazy. I'm saying that. That's been a thing that's been around forever. Oh, they're crazy. They're not. It's just the way it is. You, you have to understand the basics of that. Men are more on the logical side. Women are more emotion-based. So... Once you understand that, and also um, practice game, you know, flirt. Sometimes even if you have someone, um, you know, people still flirt. Flirting makes the world go round and round sometimes, you know. Um, so you want to do that. And um, stuff like that. So, um. And, you know, this this thing was how to improve yourself as a man, but it really could be how to improve yourself as a human being. Because for, on the flip side, for women, I'm not going to say the first thing they should do is increase their testosterone, but balancing their hormones is very important. How many times do you hear of a woman with bad menstruation, um, the side effects of that, whether it's cramping, moodiness, you know, just feeling really bad. There are things that could be done for that. Um, they could eat yams. Remember yams, y'all? It's not the same as um, sweet potatoes. Yams are very good to alleviate some of the symptoms of menstruation. Also, there's a supplement that every female I've told this to in my life, you know, has loved it. Evening primrose oil. It's a supplement that alleviates cramping, bloating moodiness all of the above and they have different strengths and stuff so balancing the hormones would be the one tip for women 
then the second thing would be they can get very good at learning how to read people. You know, um, you don't want a boyfriend who's a psychopath or high on Machiavellian scale or a high narcissism traits uh, or high on the anxiety traits, you know, um, So they can get good at reading people too. Learn a little bit about psychology, you know, um, real psychology, you know, um, Cosmo magazines like that. Eh, they read that, but it's good to read it as a man to get an idea of how women think, how women view things. That's another thing. And then, <coughs> excuse me. And then also they can learn to understand men. You know, not all men are dogs, as they say. Um, understand that men are more logic based. We um, we uh, we want things instantly. We want to solve problems right here, right now. Logic based. You know, I want to know now. Um, you know, um, men. You know, I've heard men refer to men are just little boys that work, you know, so understanding those things can improve you as a person. So those are my three tips. It looks like I'll finally get them across here because they got cut off from the part one video. So those are my three tips on what has now turned into a video on how to improve yourself as a human being, because it can be done on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, so yeah, men are a little bullheaded, um, their attention span sometimes is off, you know, you tell a man to go look for something and it could be right there and they're looking and looking and looking and looking and looking, um, or what about the man stare when a man opens the refrigerator, it's even in a commercial, opens the refrigerator, he's in his underwear and he just stares out into space, you know, like, Hello, nothing's going to change in there, you know. I heard a story of a wife telling a man, nothing's going to change in there. <laughs> so, but that probably has to do with our evolution and maybe as hunters of looking for the next big meal to kill. Um, it's all been killed if it's in the refrigerator, right? But um, it's a lot of it is our evolution and to remind yourself and read about that about the evolution of ourselves how it um comes into play in all of these things but okay yeah now you guys have some tips on both sides of the ball um how to improve as a human being i finally got this video across take care everybody and um god willing i will talk with you another time all right take care peace